What do you mean, bad news? What's going on? Uh, something came up at the office. I might have to meet you at the dinner later. Boy, you look great in that dress. The truth, Keith. I want you to tell me the truth. Hey, you do look great. Keith, the truth about the phone call. Hey, that was the truth. Uh, kind of. Well, then tell me the complete truth. Come on, we said things were going to be different from now on, remember? No more lies, no more evasions. We're going to be completely honest with each other, and everything's above board. It was plain. I lied. I don't want to know the truth. Uh, Gina, it's not what you think. What has she got over you, Keith? How come she can call up here and you're willing to drop everything and change all of our plans? I asked her to help me with Cece. You asked her to do what? Now, calm down. You asked her to help you with Cece? Yeah. Oh, what a good plan. Oh, I'm sure she's the right woman to, to go to Cece for us. I mean, after all, she is the person who tried to drive one of Cece's daughters gaga. And then she tried to let both of Cece's daughters get charged for a murder that she committed. That's the emissary to still the waters under Bridge Cece Capwell. Oh, I can just hear it and see it all now. She'll go to Cece, show a little cleavage and say, Oh, Cece, I think you really must consider what's best for the boy. That is not what I had in mind. Do you have a mind? I mean, after all, I am talking to the man that went to play for help with Cece. Do you think I'm doing this for the good of my health? I'm trying to make sure that you get to keep Brandon, and I'm trying to make it that Cece can't hurt us anymore. Now, don't say thanks or anything. Thanks. Look, I know what all this must sound like, but desperate times call for desperate measures. What exactly did you ask Flame to do? Well, I found out that Cece works late some nights, and I figured if she showed up at uh, his office, you know, kind of uh, naked, and a photographer happened to be around, uh, we could have some pics of Cece in a pretty compromising position. I see. What do you think? I think that desperate's a good word to describe it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm sorry. I just don't think that you should have gotten Flame involved in all of this. I mean, she's not someone that we can trust with something that's as important to us as this is. But she has to do what I say. I've got the goods on Flame, and she's not smart enough to pull a double cross. Well, maybe not on her own. Well, who's she going to get to help her? She shot the one person who would deal with her. And then she found you, didn't she? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. It'll get CC off our backs. We'll have a little bit of leverage. Well, then what was the phone call about? What's the bad news? Well, she didn't come right out and say it, but I think she's getting cold feet. Well, I'm surprised that's all that's getting cold, considering how she dresses. Look, Gina, I went to CC and I tried to level with them. I told them how close Brandon and I are. It didn't make any difference. Now, that pig has got my back against the wall, and I'm fighting back the way that I know best. And I don't think it's very funny. I'll see you at the dinner. I love you. Thanks. Keith. Yeah? Next time, could you talk to me about these kinds of things before you start them. I promise. Bye. Bye. You better not screw this up, Flame. 